juice. New AP. She got it, juice. I got your juicy entertainment news for Friday or Black Friday. Eminem dropped a Black Friday collection complete with collectibles and apparel. It was a surprise. It's now available on his website. And it contains all black merchandise for his new Mom Spaghetti restaurant, as well as three action figures that were previously um, available as open edition NFTs in his Shady Con by Nifty Gateway collaboration from back in April. Um, the three action figures, which are modeled after the outfit from his performance at the Experience Music Project in 2000, um, his role as B Rabbit in Eight Mile, and the iconic hockey mask and chainsaw getup from his performance at Meadowlands Arena in 2000. They are so cool. They look exactly like him. Really, really cool. Just $35 each. The Mom Spaghetti merch consists of a short sleeve t shirt and two hoodies. All three pieces are black on black graphic design and range from $30 to $50. A little surprise for all the Eminem fans. South Park characters are all grown up and in the new South Park post-COVID special, this is a spoiler alert, they uh, made the TV uh, movie that aired on Paramount Plus. It aired last night and they're all grown up. Stan, Kyle and Eric Cartman have reunited decades into the future and mourn the death of the once death-proof Kenny. That's right. The nine-year-olds are all grown up now, and Stan, um, he's an online whiskey consultant. He's romantically involved with his Alexa device. <laughs> Kyle is a struggling at counseling online startup thing. Um, and Eric's signature turquoise beanie has transformed into a yarmulke, and he apparently has converted to Judaism. Now, the crew looks into Kenny's death and discovers that Kenny was an illustrious millionaire scientist. And they find uh, circumstances surrounding his death don't quite match up. So the whole story is about them trying to find out what happened to him. They decide that he must have been murdered while investigating the origin of the COVID Delta Plus Reward variant. South Park post-COVID is now available streaming exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. Dave Chappelle. Oh, won't they just leave my boy alone? Uh, he was slammed by students at his old high school during a visit this week. He spoke at the Duke Ellington School of the Arts in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday. You know, he graduated from the prestigious school in 1991 and spent about an hour addressing 580 students inside an auditorium. But things went really south when they had the question and answer segment. It's like these kids were waiting to express their thoughts and concerns about the recent backlash from his Netflix closer special. And one student got up and said, I'm 16 and I think you're childish. You handled it like a child and then called him a bigot. Well, another one approached the microphone and bluntly told Chappelle, your comedy kills. Um, Chappelle shot back, N-word, are killed every day. Now, some parents were not impressed with his choice of language and using the N-word and said, what kind of judgment is the school showing by allowing that? Now, not all students were opposed to Chappelle and cheered him on when he hit the stage. Duke Ellington School of the Arts is actually in the process of renaming their theater after Chappelle. And even though some students, parents, and alumni have been trying to block the move, the school said they are still going ahead with the move and naming it after him in April of next year. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Friday. Make sure you lock it in again on Monday for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96. Oh, yeah. Take that.